woke me up. <laughs> and hello, my name's Daisy Foss and uh, welcome to this Wednesday's Connection with the Angels, the 1111 portal of angelic light. And of course, it's nearly the Buddha's birthday. How amazing is that? It's tomorrow, 23rd of May. Um, and we have uh, the most wonderful, wonderful energy at the moment. So let's just uh, enjoy the sounds of the harmony from Paul as we call in your angels, calling in your guides. wonderful wonderful news and so thank you so much for joining me today uh, it's an extremely um, full-on full-on full moon the fullest 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 full moon uh, tomorrow but of course it starts today the sunset of today and as the energy starts to really bubble ready for tomorrow we wake up in in the dawn with the Buddha's birthday we sack is what it's called and uh, it's um, a Buddhist Buddhist uh, celebration but of course it affects everybody because we are one we are one love one heart one tribe one one humanity so as we are one all of our energies are are con connected um, through this divine web this vital web through the divine lines of vi the the micro white lines the ley lines the synchronic lines right through to the galactic ley lines did you know you had a galactic ley line no nor did i did you know buddha no oh actually i think you did probably didn't you <laughs> <laughs> so are we ready for this if you've been feeling really down really full up overwhelmed and goodness me how many people are having accidents I know we nearly had one on Sunday and I know a dear friend of mine I'm a premier so let's send her lots of healing love and light and anybody else who has had an accident or is having a particularly difficult time because this is bringing up your stuff it's stopping you in your tracks it's making you appreciate and realize and review your life and of course we call in Ganesh to clear any of these blockages to clear any of the things that have how are your shadow that you're not even aware of that they're there everyone else knows they're there but you don't because it's your shadow and how do you discover your shadow look behind you look behind not to stay in the past but to use the past as reference because as you are in the present moment everything that you've done up till now is a result of that it's not the cause the cause is what you do today that will be the result of what you receive and create for tomorrow so you know don't waste too much time worrying about yesterday it's gone worry about today be conscious about today or in fact give all your worries to Buddha and the angels and Merlin uh, it's a really easy thing for me to say but it is possible and how do you do it you take your crystals these are beautiful little garnet ones I have here but you can use any crystals I love these because they are red they are rock they are they are absolutely connecting to Mother Earth and of course they are connecting to my root chakra. So if you have any red crystals or garnets or, or obsidian or shungite, anything that is of the black colour, of the red colour or, you know, red jasper would, would be, works as well. And of course I have these beautiful, beautiful um, red heart necklace my mum gave it to me and when I went to see Emma she grabbed it it was like oh wow um so it's really a very special day I have Emma's uh um sorry um uh, altar cloth here as well today so we're bringing in all the spirituality that we can um for you to receive in this moment during this meditation so if you are ready now and your feet are firmly planted on the ground <laughs> my friends used to say to me oh you're an Aquarian your feet are firmly planted in the air <laughs> 
I was a bit scatty then, definitely out of my head, definitely on a mission to get back to source. Um, but now I recognize and realize and know that to get out of your head, to get back to your source, it's to be grounded. The more earthed and grounded you are, the more you can fly, the more you can go out to the cosmos. I heard about astral co oh, oh, astral cosmonauts yesterday. My goodness me, astral cosmonauts um, at the time of Atlantis in the astral cosmonaut temple. Oh, it was amazing. Um, and I and I realised that that uh, that there's certainly times when I when I go out astrally to see, but these were dedicated souls that that went out to the through the universe through the stars through the dimensions to bring back energy power and wisdom and knowledge for the atlantean councils so it's fascinating isn't it i love it and of course it's what uh, makes us who we are so if you want to know more about that give me a call email me and um it's wonderful it was a talk from edwin edwin courtney Mwah! love edwin and uh, his uh, workshops are delightful so are you ready ready now to bring in your light to bring in your love for this beautiful time that we have right now your guides, your guardian angels, those light beings, all the ascended masters who are here, including the goddess Kuan Yin, the Buddha, Merlin, Malina, all of the beings of light who are here facilitating. And I like to use Kuan Yin's mantra to really open up the heart today. So if you know it, join in with me now. And if you don't, I'll say it slowly, okay? I sang this all the way up the mountain in Mount Sinai to get to the, the temple church at the top, St. Catherine's. Um, I was absolutely terrified. And Kuan Yin and her mantra kept me on the camel's back in my seat, not, ju not jumping off or falling. So let's start with this mantra. It's absolutely beautiful. Are you ready? For those who know it, it's Om Mane Padme Hum. And for those who don't, join in with me now. Are you ready? Take a breath. Om Mane Padme Hum. Om Mane Padme Hum, Om Mane Padme Hum, Om Mane Padme Hum. How beautiful is that? You can continue to continue to say that all the way through the meditation if you wish. Um, the Buddha's uh, meditation, his sound, his mantra is Om Namah Shivai is one of them. Om Namah Shivai, I greet you. And the other one is Om Nom Nyo Renge Kyo, Nom Nyo Renge Kyo, Nom Nyo Renge Kyo, Nom Nyo Renge Kyo, Nom Nyo Renge Kyo. Beautiful. And again, you can say that one. If I say it slowly, nom yo reggae kyo, rom nom yo reggae kyo, nom yo reggae kyo. And you say it really fast, nom yo reggae kyo, nom yo reggae kyo, nom nom, so that it becomes one one sound. Nom yo reggae kyo, nom yo yorki, nom yo yo. It's absolutely beautiful if you keep saying it. And that's the sound, the mantra for today. So we're going to stay with the Divine Feminine because we are. <laughs> Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion, bringing forth this energy for today, for this evening, for tomorrow, for WESAC. And so with feet per firmly planted on the ground, your spine straight as much as it can be and if you're lying that's fine just imagine that your energy is flowing right down and through to the earth through from the top of your head to the tip of your toes from your fingertips to your toes 
flowing with ease and with grace. I see my fingers as branches to the cosmos, bringing the energy through from the great central sun, right through your whole body, through this column of light to the heart of Mother Earth. And as it flows through your feet, as if they are roots into the earth, just grounding your energy through to your sub root chakra, where your energy connects with your sub root chakra and earth. I see that as a beautiful plug. I've made mine diamond encrusted, so I know where it is. And as that rooting earthing into your your earth star, where you anchor, you absolutely anchor into Mother Earth. And Mother Earth, she holds you in her hug. So as we sing, Om Mane Padme Hum, 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 Om Mane Padme Hum. Bringing that light to the centre of your heart, this beautiful golden flower arises in your heart star. The energy flowing from Father Sky through to Mother Earth, through you, the Divine Child. And as it flows through your body to the centre of your heart star, this golden flower of your heart chakra opens. It opens with ease and with grace. Open heart, open hand, open mind. And as you open this space and place of love, step into the centre of your heart. Stepping into this space and place with ease and with grace, Merlin's grace. And as you step into this space, the sounds of the harmony, the sounds of the mantra, Om Mane Padme Hum, just radiating, just, just reverberating through your heart space. And in the very centre of this golden flame, the violet indigo purple flame dissolving, resolving as these flames of ascension, all the colours of the rainbow flow through your body as you go deeper into your heart space until you come to Kwan, Kwan Yin's threefold flame. The blue, soft blue flame on the right, the pink, soft pink on the left. And as they come together with the gold, this threefold flame in the centre of your heart, the power of love, the power of wisdom, and the power of peace. As you breathe in this light, breathe in this love, and in the center of this threefold flame, sitting on a lotus is the pearl of your heart, the pearl of your wisdom. And as you step into the center of the pearl of your wisdom, the pearl of your heart, you are safe, you are secure, breathing this light, breathing this love. Breathing the one breath of creation, the one breath of the one love, the one heart. Breathing as one. One love, one breath, one heart as one. And as you breathe, just relax. Anchoring, earthing, grounding. And as the energy through your root chakra, as it relaxes into the earth, screwing in like a corkscrew in through a vortex of light from your root chakra through your sacral chakra through your trust center trusting your love your compassion as it flows through your solar plexus through your stomach digesting of your life bringing the love the enlightenment to your heart this beautiful beautiful lotus of love in the center of your heart radiant and strong all the petals open as the petals from your heart from your throat as it opens your communication through your third eye through your crown the thousand petals at your crown radiant and strong open to receive this light of love 
And as this light of love, as the light of enlightenment, Buddha's light, Buddha's love, this compassion, this Zen, this energy of pure divinity, just flowing and overflowing through your being. The sounds of the harmony flowing with ease. the sounds of the harmony, as the sounds of the mantra, Om Mane Padme Hum, 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 Om Mane Padme Hum. 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 in the center of your heart space, this beautiful light radiating the sounds just vibrating through your being. And as the mantra goes to exactly where the mantra is meant to be, absolutely beautiful, beautiful mantra. And if you're still feeling that you're having blockages, then the mantra to use is Ganesh's which is Gan Gan Gana Ganesh, Gan Gan Gana Ganesh, Gan Gan Gana Ganesh. Again, that's three mantras we've given you today. And the Buddha and Ganesh uh, always love it in threes, three, six or nine. And when you do them in those sequences, it just flows. And I know tomorrow I'm going to be doing at least 15 minutes of mantra just for myself on the Buddha's birthday, starting with the Om, then the Nom Myoho Renge Kyo, and then pad Om Mane Padme Hom, and finishing with uh, Gan 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 Ganesh, just to make sure that everything is clear. So, uh, in the centre of your heart now, in this space and place of love, if you start to come back into the, your body from wherever you've been, bringing all parts of your being back to this moment right now, refreshed, realigned and re-energized in the center of your heart, this beautiful pearl of your heart radiating through all of your bodies, just shining through your heart, shining through your spine as you wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, coming back into this moment. 
grounded, earthed and anchored very gently coming fully back into this moment right now. And, and the crystal aquamarine marina, this beautiful, beautiful Egyptian priestess within this crystal and Gaius, Mer Merlin's teacher, sending out their healing light. If you'd like to have a personal healing with me, you do meet both Marina and Gaius. We use them in the healings. And of course, I am here in Barnes to um, bring healing. I've changed the system now. It's Mondays and Tuesdays, uh, and uh, but if the room is free, I can book it any day of the week. So do give me a call, and especially evenings. Um, give me a call and uh, we can book you in um, uh, to suit you in person. Otherwise, we can, uh, I can talk to you on uh, Zoom at any time. So don't sit there in your, in your despair, your sadness. If you want to have some joy, then choose to have the joy. And that means make, taking action. And when you take that action, it's like, oh, where do I go? Who do I talk to? Well, talk to me. Talk to me or any other of the wonderful healers that you know. Just don't sit there on your own. Um, it's Buddha's birthday tomorrow. So do let's celebrate together. I've got a full day of healings. Otherwise, I would be alive. But we're doing it today instead. So wonderful, wonderful blessings to you. Big love, big hugs, angelic hugs. And we'll see you again next week. Namaste. Lots and lots of love from my heart to yours. Om Shanti. <laughs>